In 1999, I was in a state of extreme despair and loneliness. I was in a rut on all fronts. My relationship with my family became distant, and things weren't going well at work. I felt there was no hope for the future. In this situation, I began to consider ending my life. Just as I was about to take action, I experienced something really amazing. I met God and He had a conversation with me. Although this sounds very unbelievable, I am sure it was real. God's presence is very real. He guided me out of a difficult situation and rediscovered the meaning of life. This experience completely changed my life and brought me out of my despair and loneliness. I regained my confidence and strength to begin a new journey. When I was 26 years old, I had no real friends. I was alone at home every night. I started to get tired of my situation and I couldn't find anyone to talk about my thoughts and feelings. I felt like the darkness was consuming me and I was ready to end my life. My faith in God remained strong, but I was unable to love myself. I felt like my existence was a mistake. Every night, I wanted to escape this painful feeling. One night, I was lying in bed alone. I began to cry and pray at the same time. I told God, if you really exist, I need your help. I have come to the end of my life, and I cannot go on without your help and your love. I told him that I had tried my best to find my way, but now I was in darkness and needed his guidance. I knew that if God really existed, He would hear my prayers. If He did not exist, His silence would be my answer. Suddenly, a dazzling light appeared in the room. This light was so strong that it illuminated every corner of the room. It made me feel like I had entered another world. I felt that my fear and despair had disappeared. Although I did not see the image of God, I felt his presence. He conveyed his love to me in a silent way. God and I did not use words to communicate, but telepathic communication. The feeling was amazing. God said to me, I am always there for you, and everything will be okay. My child, I have always loved you. Nothing you do will ever separate you from my love. When God called out my name, I knew it was my real name. That name felt very old and completely different from the name my parents had given me. I knew that name belonged only to me. God took me into another dimension. This is a space made up of God's love. Here, I felt immensely happy and content. I felt surrounded by infinite love. A wonderful connection was established between me and God that cannot be described in words. This experience made me feel like I was home, back in my true home. I learned a lot in this space. God is not only the creator of the universe, but also created me. He has infused me with infinite love and creativity. I know I can trust Him because His justice and mercy will never change. Although God is so perfect, my heart is full of doubts. I asked God, why is there so much pain in my life, and where were you when I was suffering? God said, my child, do you think that you are the only one who suffers? Everyone has their own difficulties, but these experiences can make you stronger. When you feel pain, I am actually always with you. I couldn't help but complain then why don't you stop these sufferings? God went on to say, if I always protect you, you will never be able to grow. Sometimes you need to face these challenges on your own in order to become stronger. God reminded me that, my child, you need to learn to trust. Trust yourself, trust others, trust me. When you encounter problems, you must trust that you have the ability to face everything, that those around you will support you, and that my love will always be there for you. 
Then God held my hand and a strong energy passed through my body. It was like I had traveled back in time and I went back in time. I saw myself as a small child, beaten by my father. I saw myself crying at home, praying for my mother to come and protect me. But my mother never showed up. And I had to suffer all this pain alone. Then I saw myself at school, where the voices of ridicule and mockery were constantly ringing in my ears. At that time, I felt very lonely and helpless. Then, I saw myself being criticized by the leaders at work. I felt so lost and frustrated that I didn't know how to respond. God told me to look closely at every detail. He reminded me to pay attention to the details around my body. In every memory, I saw a soft light around me. God told me that in my loneliest times, when I was abused and hurt, He was always there for me, surrounding me with His love. In that moment, I understood that I was never truly alone because God was with me all the time. As I continued to observe, I realized that I saw a light around all people. Some people may have hurt me at one time or another, but in God's eyes, they are also His children. I began to understand that God's love did not just shine on me, but that His love shines on all people, all life. God held me and gently comforted me. He said, My child, although I cannot change anything now, I promise you that you will come out of the gloom and everything will be all right. I looked up at God with tears in my eyes. He looked at me with a warm gaze and continued, Don't be afraid, I will never let you face pain and difficulties alone. Believe me, I will always be by your side and support you. I asked him, What should I do? I didn't know how to face the people who had hurt me. God said, My children, they are my children too. They may have made mistakes, but they too can be forgiven and loved by me. You need to learn to forgive them because you are all my children. Believe me, everyone has the opportunity to change. I asked him, everyone has a light around their body, what is that light? God patiently explained, that is my love, everyone is enveloped in love, it will bring you strength and support. I took a deep breath and felt the frustration in my heart slowly dissipate. God continued. My child, one day you will return to your true home and meet me there again. There you will find true inner peace and joy. I talked a lot with God here. God also gave me a glimpse of my future life. In terms of my career, I eventually found a job that I love and continue to grow and improve. There will be some setbacks and difficulties, but I will persevere and eventually succeed. In terms of marriage, I will also encounter some ups and downs. Although I have to go through a failed marriage, this experience makes me cherish true love more. Eventually, I found a trustworthy person. We support each other through every stage of our lives. Although we do have conflicts and arguments, we work through communication to solve problems. I asked God, are these things really going to happen in the future? God replied, all these things will happen if you believe in yourself. Your future is totally up to you. You need to believe in yourself, pursue your dreams, and face challenges and difficulties bravely. His words filled me with hope and courage. I stood there with God holding me tightly. In His arms, I felt a sense of safety and peace. He told me that He had to leave and that He would be there for me in a different way. The light in the room was fading. I held on to Him as long as I could, but he slowly disappeared from me. When God disappeared, although I felt some loss, I knew he would always be there for me. I began to try to change myself. I knew that I myself had a lot of responsibility for all this pain in the past. 
There was a lack of communication between us in our dealings with our families. There was a lack of trust in our dealings with our co-workers. I started to try to repair the relationship with my family. So I started to reach out to them. I found that every communication brought us closer to each other, and I understood their thoughts and needs better. On the work front, I started to try to build a more trusting relationship with my colleagues. In the past, I often conveyed negative emotions to my colleagues, and doing so only damaged our relationship. Therefore, I decided to take the initiative to show my colleagues that I trust and respect them. I began to listen to their opinions and suggestions, and to offer them my own ideas and opinions as well. I remember a time when I had a disagreement with a colleague about a project. In the past, I might have taken a negative attitude or simply distanced myself from him. But this time, I tried to take a different approach. I sat down with him and listened carefully to each other's ideas and opinions. Together, we discussed and analyzed the strengths and weaknesses of the project and came up with solutions. In the end, we achieved great results in the project and our relationship became closer. I found that as I worked to change myself, my life began to change for the better. I have become closer to my family, and the trust and cooperation with my colleagues has become even better. I know this path is not easy, but I will continue to persevere. There was a time when I became lost again. When I came to church, I told my pastor about my experience. He listened to me quietly. He did not interrupt me, nor did he show any surprise. He always had a quiet look on his face. When I finished speaking, he said, You are very blessed to have experienced God's love and mercy firsthand. This is something that many people do not experience. I asked him, do you really believe in my experience? He nodded, smiled, and said, Of course I believe. God's love is everywhere, and His mercy will come to anyone. It is only natural that He should appear in your life. I felt a great sense of relief, knowing that I had not been misunderstood. His word strengthened my conviction that my experience was real. He went on to say, your experience also reminds us that a relationship with God can be experienced firsthand. We can feel God's love and mercy if we are willing to listen to our inner voice. Every one of us in life faces a variety of challenges and difficulties. But if we believe in the existence of God and trust in His help and grace, we can overcome these challenges. He will always be there for us giving us strength and courage. I know that God's love is infinite and He is willing to bring happiness and peace to everyone. This conversation with the pastor made me re-examine my faith and life, and made me stronger in my connection with God.